Sean Tyler with Diesel Laptops, and I'm going to talk to you today about something a little bit different and unique, and that's Hino Trucks. So first of all, in the Texas system, when you go to Hino, you want to go to Medium Duty, and then down to Hino. And now you're going to see some something kind of unusual here, uh, Series 300 and Series 600. So the unique thing with Hino is that in the entire rest of the world, besides North America, they are called Series 300 and Series 600. But in North America, they are different model numbers. One begins with a two, one begins with a one, one begins with a three. So this is really a, a, a 268 series, which is the kind of bigger ones. The short version is, is there, there is a VIN detector. So let's just show you how this works, and we'll talk about a little bit more while it's doing the VIN. There's really two types of engines you'll find on Hino's. One will be an eight cylinder, which is the J08E, which is the very, very common one. The less common one is their five cylinder, the J05E. So that one's a little, little different. So in this case, it's saying, hey, I'm not sure I found it. It's a J08E, but I'm not sure if it's a class six or seven. And honestly, it really doesn't matter which one you pick here. But I will say Hino's pretty good on their tags, on their side of their door, on labeling if it's a class six or seven. This one is a class seven, so we'll go ahead and pick that. But if I pick eight, uh, class six, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. The other thing with Hino is you could have multiple diagnostic ports. You could have a 9-pin, you could have an OBD2. Uh, you could have both. Uh, and that's because, for the most part, your engine diagnostics are going to be done on your OBD2 port and probably your ABS. However, transmission is typically done on the 9-pin port. So as soon as you get to these import trucks, things just go a little weird and a little bit different. And it's hard to really know exactly what to do or what to pick. Because uh, it's not really quite clear, there's a lot of variations, but in this case, we'll just go ahead with this and roll. So the scan can take uh, a minute or two. It's basically going out to the vehicle and saying, hey, what do you have and what are you? And it's trying to figure it out. So we'll let the scan go through here, and now it's going to return back. And as you can see, it's saying, hey, I don't see my ABS, I don't see my transmission, but I do see my diesel injection. So let's go hop into the engine to see the functionality on this. And now it's even coming back saying, okay, now you said engine, but there's two different things. Do you want me to connect to the SCR urea dosing control unit, which is one of your after treatment, after -treatment component ECUs? Or do you want me to connect to the engine? So let's go ahead and select engine. So again, it gets more complicated with these newer trucks. They have multiple computers doing multiple functions, and you kind of have to go into each computer system to see what it can and what it can't do. So we'll get hooked up to this guy here. Um, and again, Hino J08E using the OBD2 cable, and we are connected to it. So let's see what we get here for information. So. First of all, we're reading all of our live data. We should all know by this point, you can double click and view live codes. You can go to dashboards and see a graphical, nice pretty pictures on what's going on with all the sensors and values. Let's go to false and let's see what this unknown memory code is. So we have a code P0005. All right, so text is saying it's unknown. Let's go see what our repair information says. So our repair information is unique to only diesel laptops. You really won't find this anywhere else. So let's go down here and let's go find our J08E engine for what we have. J08E, 2017-ish model, and we have a P005, I believe was the code. Let's go double check ourselves. Unknown code, P005. Texas telling you it's unknown. However, the repair information from Diesel Laptops, and by the way, this is the only place you can get this, does have quite a bit of repair information for P0005. And as you scroll down, you can see kind of the quality and the amount of information we have here. And at the end of the day, it's going to say this code was caused by one of these three things. All right. So let's go back to the system here, show you the ECU info tab. And again, the engine number is a J08E, the VIN number, the model year, all kinds of good information, injector codes and whatnot. I go over to activations. I can run all kinds of tests and commands like my cylinder cutout. 